All right, are we ready? We got, we good? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. So, a uh, third interview happens of Jerome and Sophie, uh, direct, former director and former head writer of the show. We were told that they were going to ask the uh, a follow-up question to the last interview that happened in October, late, late October. Um, not a lot of new progress has been made. They're kind of still in the same, like, trying to acquire the rights process. I think, I guess, also financing it. That's what it sounds like. Um, and then again, they said that they hope to have more info for us in the summer. I think they said latest by September. So uh, last time they told us it was two months. It was a little bit longer than that. So we don't know how long it will be. But uh, we're just going to jump straight into it. We have um, a great uh, list from Emu that we will go over. Talk about each one of those. I don't know if they were both hosts, but the host and his... Um, Two friends, they brought up like different projects and stuff, and yeah, IFCL was one of them. And very happy for Emu to get the recognition yeah, from definitely. the uh, from Jerome and Sophie. Um, mm -hmm. I think they've, I think I heard that they've heard about it, and I think they said something about like they uh, are honored. Um, anyways, moving on to right. the next topic. Season four was always meant to end the way it did. Same episode number, etc. They knew very early on the show it wouldn't be renewed and did the conclusion they wanted. Um, so yeah, that's a that, that's a um, interesting one for I me mean, because that's one we're all gonna really yeah, yeah. That, that's how we're, that's that's <laughs> we're gonna I guess we discuss that now right just do it one by one yeah. and one by one of in the BC yeah. so yeah I suppose we can do that yeah uh, <sighs> season four uh, was I don't know I, I'm I'm like yesent to that uh, as it's like was meant. The way it did, um, because because originally, I remember season four, like uh, Koyoka was at its peak. It was successfully like it's blowing up internationally, and like by each season, especially around season four. So I, I they knew, I guess they knew during early production of season four that they weren't going to be renewed, um, and that wasn't just Cartoon Network. It was also France Three. Uh, don't know exactly the reasons. I th they actually mentioned in the interview that uh, new executives came in. Um, I'm, I, I'm assuming for Moon Scoop, and they had a new vision for the company, and Kolioko wasn't a part of it, um, which is uh, just that's awful. That's so un like, unfortunate. It would be like Nick getting new executives yeah. and them saying SpongeBob isn't part of Nickelodeon's future. <laughs> We don't it see this never... as an element of Nickelodeon. <laughs> I definitely would just be like, okay, why? Yeah, I honestly don't. I mean, for something like, like Kolioko's, your like y'all's, like you are Moonscape because of Kolioko. Like, I don't understand what they were thinking, especially if uh, when it was like doing so doing the numbers everywhere worldwide. I I, yeah. I feel like the issue is just what the producers like. Producers have the image of a show that they wanted to make, and Kolioko didn't fit that mold. Like they kind of forced Kolioko yeah. to fit it some in some aspects, but it wasn't completely there. That might that just, might be the reason. I don't know. But, uh, Bad decision. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> Avatar had already come out. And proven that serialization was massively successful. And if anything, there was there was arguably a very big shift in serialized animation as a mm -hmm. result of Avatar. Yeah, there was a season good, four of became Kobe a good Yoko balance. Came out after Avatar. The executives would have been like, serialized what? shows are really popular. People really like them. We get people to watch every week because they want to keep yeah. up. Uh, they still did it. like there was still a good balance between filler and um, yeah. like episodic and. It might not just be serialization yeah. that's the issue. There yeah. might be some other things going on. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. unfortunate either way. I just, I think that they, again, they heard that early on in production of season four. They didn't, couldn't end it. Like, they had an, I think they had another ending, but when they got the news, they had to change the ending, and then they were happy with the way they were able to end it still. Um, that, but we can see where that is because the last four episodes of season four it's pretty rushed. Um, you know, Jeremy comes down yeah. the courtyard and say, hey, found a way to kill Xana. And it's just like, yeah, it just goes from there. <laughs> that should have been like a huge, like, Damn, don't steal my shit. thunder. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to kill Xana. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, that's, just, that, that's, that's where I, that's where it kind of comes from. I know Wazie and I discussed, um, like, it, it felt like, uh, we both agree on this. 
like hardcore. Yeah. Like Down to Earth I, felt like it was going yeah. to be the actual season four finale because it felt like we were gonna get I think one more season, um, with that, like backstory and stuff like that, and William. I was gonna say I was gonna wait for my turn for the Down That's to what, Earth thing. But yeah, if you really look at Down to Earth as an episode, it feels like it ties up a lot of season four's plot threads mainly with that of william being possessed but also just this is where they kill the clone this is where what's it this is where we're starting to move towards xana's destruction yeah we have the colossus introduced we introduced and a threat we have we have fights like Ulrich and William on top of the Colossus is iconic. That <laughs> feels like a season finale yeah. fight. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, when there's, I, there's so many. Go ahead. I would just say like, so when, cause when you, when we get to fight to the finish, it's just, it's just almost a repeat. I'm like, this is, doesn't feel like yeah. it kind of down the earth kind of sucks all that away. Cause like, I'm like, okay, what's, what's really different about this episode. I just feel like, it's yeah. pretty much the same, and like, just didn't feel right. Didn't feel like a finale to me after watching Down to Earth. Yeah, it's like Down to Earth. I still like Echoes. I think the epilogue is cool. No, yeah, even though a lot of people don't like that. But <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, you know what? I got my own thoughts on that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna. Season four was always meant to end the way it did. Same episode number, etc. Are you sure about that? I have a very heavy dose of X to doubt with that. Like, as 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 Wazy will, I will I'll let Wazy have this one. But like, as Wazy as Wazy is going to exasperately describe, um, the last four episodes are so plot rushed. Mm -hmm. Season yep. four is structured in such a way that those last four episodes are literally out of nowhere. And the the exact specifics of how season four got put together the way it did, if they knew that was the amount of episodes they were going to get, is very, very, in, a very interesting discussion to be had. But I also want to, like, point to we have a lot of concept art of stuff they wanted to do in season four that just doesn't make sense if they knew they weren't going to have time to do it mm -hmm. because we have a actual drawing of the dam of a hydroelectric dam that was supposed to be the real world uh location of the supercomputer for the uh mountain sector replica there's also information with regards to the game that the volcano sector didn't wasn't like purely an idea by the game developers it was it was taken from some concept work for season four which mm -hmm. just doesn't make a lot of like shows all the time will make concept art will do will think up ideas and write them on a drawing board um and then just throw them away because they don't have time or they mm -hmm. just don't think they can make it work. But like, usually when you're <clears throat> making ideas, you're also not, you, you know, these are, these, these are really early things. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't draw a damn background really early on because you, you, you like, you think of, you know, Mountain Sector. Where are we going to have the equivalent to that? What's the real-world lab location? A, a, a dam in the mountain. You know, we got the ice replicas at a, at a remote CIA <clears throat> listening base in Siberia. Because I got, somehow, somehow the CIA got a listening post in Siberia. Um, the forest replica... Is in a fort is in a jungle a very dense heavy jungle the desert replica is area 51 or something like that you know Black Mesa. Huh. so it's it's it just it's 
the level of development of the background too like it's it's a bit more than just a a concept art it's like a full background drawing yeah. that you you oh, know an establishing shot so what are you exactly saying so there's just it's very hard to believe they knew from the beginning season four was going to be the last season because they did a lot of pre-production stuff that doesn't really make sense if they knew they were going to be heavily limited in mm. their options yeah i don't know exactly i don't know when you, yeah the, the know. mountain sector would have been the mountain replica would have been on the drawing board but i don't know if they would have gone as far as they did drawing background art so to essentially mm -hmm. um and keep and in i mind. can be wrong i will i would accept that this is entirely <clears throat> me extrapolating based off just how the season was structured which again those last four episodes are atrociously paced for the entire story that they exude. Yeah, this looks too expensive. Yeah. Um, to just be yeah. like, yeah, no, we're just not doing this. Um, <laughs> well, let me, let me I see. Mean, I haven't actually seen it. this. Take a look. I mean, this is, this is like... Are you like, kidding me? This is a completed drawing. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. like this is a completed drawing. That's, that's not that's concept art. That is completed. Apparently, I think that it's is, by one yeah, person, too. This. Yeah, that's they the were. Th like, oh. if this was, like, if the shadows and the lighting and everything wasn't nearly as detailed, it'd be very easy to dismiss this as it got, it, they took it off the drawing board. You know what? You know what? I, I, I then... <laughs> Not everything, yeah, well, first right. of all, first of all, not, not everything is going to see the light of day, unfortunately, even though that this is a complete finished concept, yeah. it seems here, but like... Like like I said, it's one of those, this is one of those things where it it doesn't feel like it should have gotten nearly as far as it did if they knew. This art is so complete, and Cam, I want you to edit this into the video, that I can literally imagine the, what's it, I can literally imagine, uh, what's it, them in the mountain sector replica, like, teleporting in, in this establishing shot mm -hmm. with the freaking music. Like, I can imagine that, you know? Yeah, me Like, too. clear as day. And it's like... It's genuinely crazy that it got this far. Yeah. So, yeah. For me, I really... I thought um, <laughs> the ending of Season 4 was rushed as well. Like, um, like things got resolved way too um, way too quickly. Um, uh, you know, they, there was, like, um, no reason why they had to, like, um, bring William back only to get him possessed again. And also, that like, was I... Such Bullshit. And I I'm didn't. Sorry. I didn't like. Um, <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of like the the ending echoes because like it all because like even though it's supposed to like show um how how the characters felt after their adventure um all, all it was was it was clip show after clip show after clip show like it felt like it felt like <laughs> like everyone was like laid off or something like go <laughs> home <laughs> like we fi we finished code Leoka, go home kind of. <laughs> I mean, to be I fair, Code Lyoko as a show is held together by like ten reused clips. So <laughs> Yeah, but at least they um at least I tried something like different with it and it wasn't like repeat after repeat after repeat after repeat with no like um no changes. No, no, I agree, but I was just kidding. Guys, I mean I mean they use the garage kids virtualization scene for Yumi for three seasons. It's good. Yeah. They use odds it for is. three seasons. They use Oryx. Uh, does yeah, Oryx. Gets, they use his. Yeah, Oryx. Like, like, yeah. But they're good shots, so it, it's worth. <laughs> yeah. It's of course not something <laughs> I would ever complain about. And good artists know when to reuse assets and reuse scenes and reuse animation. Yeah, but with like no changes, <laughs> except for like mm -hmm. um a filter. Yeah. I mean, clip shows are sometimes you just you know. I think a clip show is relevant too when you have a show that it was only one like, remember remember code lyoko was released on tv this isn't this isn't netflix boys this is you watched every week for 
92 weeks with breaks in between because they, you know, as much as they did reruns, new seasons didn't come out one after at the moment the last one ended. A clip show yeah. is actually a pretty fine way to end your show. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, like um, the way they say like it's meant to end like that, like I don't, I really don't think it it was probably meant to end like that. Maybe like they could have like, maybe they're trying to like establish something like build off of something, but um, but the executive executives never let them. And uh, cause like I've I think I've like heard this multiple times for like other shows when they say like um it was meant to end that way when it when it wasn't it clearly wasn't like um mm -hmm. you can actually see that it wasn't meant to end this way but um they might either they were like uh, they had to say that to um keep the company happy or something but the company's been bankrupt for for years so like they don't have to say that if they didn't exactly if like it really wasn't meant to end like that yeah sorry I mean, I did, the, oh, hold on, hold on, wait. To, to note on that um i was because i was just thinking to myself like they could have like New Scoop doesn't exist anymore. They could have just cooked more. They were already cooking with Evolution. They could have just unless they really don't remember. I feel like that's something they do remember. They could have really told us the truth there because I just don't believe it. They're really cooking yeah. with Evolution. You sure about that, Cam? <laughs> no, I was, I was saying they yeah. they were they were going ham on on that topic. Like they were going off. Yeah. Yeah. As for this particular point, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have like much of an opinion here because. I'm not really too familiar with uh, what's been happening like behind the scenes at that time uh, during uh, season four's production and things of that nature. But uh, as for this, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that there is probably way more plans for the story even beyond like season four or during like season four if they were given that many many more episodes and of that nature. But uh, yeah, if I if I were to guess, if I were to make like one educated guess as to why. Moon Scoop went to uh, the writers and was like, "Hey, do what you need to do. You need to end this right now at this specific date." It, my guess is that, hey, Moon Scoop probably saw. Yeah, it may have been like their most popular show at the time, but Moon Scoop probably saw Code Lyoko as a trend, saying that yeah, it was popular this time. But I'm I'm guessing like they didn't have like let's say as much confidence that it was going to continue the success right after season four. They probably thought like the revenue or that the profits would go down. So they wanted to have something else to, to like, let's say, change up or, like, refresh in, like, let's say, their lineup of shows. It, that, again, this is just my guess. Because, uh, what you call, like, I remember another show that was actually on Cartoon Network not too long after uh, the original Code Lyoko ended. I'm guessing that Moonscoop wanted to, like, what was it, push out Hero 108? Yeah, you remember that show? Hero yeah, 108. That. Yeah, I'm guessing, like, that was, like... Yeah, I'm guessing that they were trying to push that as the new big thing to say, hey, if you're fans of Code Lyoko, we're saying, hey, like, we got something else. We got something just as cool as Code Lyoko, even though... No, I'm not going to give my opinion on that. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah. I don't even remember when, like, Hero when it came out. Yeah, neither do I. It was okay. I only caught it, like, once or twice while it was on Cartoon Network in the morning, and I was like, yeah, I'm good. But, uh... Yeah, as for the rest of this, yeah, I'm not sure if I have, like, too much to say on this front. It's like, I'm not gonna doubt, like, maybe there was, like, somewhere in the writing process, they wanted to leave a lot of the unanswered questions unanswered on purpose because audiences creating, like, let's say, a scenario in their head, and for example, let's say, what happened to Aelita's mom? What's been going on with those uh, agents that, let's say, invaded, like, uh, Aelita's family and stuff? There's a small part of my mind thinking that, hey, maybe they they were planning to leave those unanswered on purpose, but that the fun of that storytelling would for be for the audience to create their own interpretation of it. At least that's my sort of guess on it. But uh, yeah, as of that, that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. It's like, I'm pretty sure there was more that was going to be dealt with, but uh, again... I guess Moon Scoop just like saw Code Lyoko as a trend, and they wanted to, uh, you know, move on to something else quickly. To let's say, because I guess I'm pretty sure I'm guessing like they didn't think newer audiences was going to let's say jump into Code Lyoko because it was it was a serialized show, so you had to watch from like technically. Uh, well, I was gonna say the the beginning, but I guess uh, in this case, Xana awakens and stuff. Again, th there's a lot of there's there could be like a lot of reasons as to why they decided to end it, but that's that's just mine. Um. Okay, so I guess two things. One, I think it does suck that the production, that, you know, the new people coming in were like, okay, we kind of want to be done with Kodioko now. And my guess is that 
CL, I love Kalioko, but it's weird. Like, in terms of, like, branding and how you present it as part of, like, your collection, it doesn't, it's, style, like, clashes with that of other shows. It's, content is both dark, it's darker than most cartoons, and it's also, it's just, it's very hard to push <laughs> as, like, yeah, this is our peak. So even though Code Oka was really, really popular, I can see some executive who's just like, okay, but I don't know how to market this because it's so different from all... It's like a black sheet. So <laughs> we're going to... It's also very common practice for executives to come in and kind of clean house and get rid of the old stuff and then put in their new stuff, which also sucks. So I think that's mainly the reason. It's not that Code Oka wasn't popular. It's just that whoever the new head just didn't know what to do with it <laughs> and and we all saw we all paid the price for it in terms of yeah. like actually no we did know that the the show we had the set amount of episodes and uh you know we we had the ending plan from the beginning i i think the idea that that's incorrect and that they didn't find out until late in production is kind of maybe a little bit this is going to be a hot take, but I do think there's a little bit of copium going on. And I and I get it. I kind of do. Like, there's Damn. this narrative that the Kolioko fandom loves, this idea that there was this season five that exists somewhere in the, in the universe, and they had all these plans, and it was going to be great. And then, you know, mean Moon Scoop ended the show, and we never got it, and that's why all the episodes are rushed, and it sucks because we got those four episodes instead of this mythical season five that would have been so great. And it's like that's not, that's not what happened. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Dylan makes a point. We have like really detailed mountain sector concept art. Yes, that exists. But guess what? In most, most productions, like oh, most of the work, all the concepts that get made they get thrown out it's i know in the video game industry it's like 80 percent i i don't know i don't know like what the statistics are for like shows but i imagine it's also pretty high i know as a creative person when i write stuff some stuff gets killed it's not crazy to me that I, the the idea that oh we had plans for the mountain sector and then it got canned it could happen for so many reasons it's not just ah yes it was gonna be in the show but then we had to remove it to make room for the show finale and that's why we don't have the mountain sector there could be other reasons i don't know if they were just like we don't have the budget to do like four lo four unique locations <laughs> it could be something like that so yeah they drew like the one establishing shot and then it got canned or something Stuff, lots of things can happen in production and Kalioka's production history is kind of we don't have all the details so we don't I to say ah yes the proof that the mountain sector and volcano sectors existed at one point is proof that season five was going to be a thing but then it got cancelled is a stretch I, I don't think <sighs> that's conclusive enough evidence to say this was for season four and it was going to help build up to season five i think the main reason i think the big one that everyone points to is like okay but why is season why is the last four episodes so rushed why is it suddenly have a plot for like four episodes when they could have been better spread out and i think the answer is that sophie jack rosette uh got pregnant and had to leave uh her position as head writer for a bit to deal with that and then the new guy that came in was a uh was more of an action writer not like a story driven writer which is why season four is so much more focused on uh on like action episodes rather than plot focused episodes it's unnecessary bad thing. i don't have sources for this but i've heard it um if i'm wrong someone can correct me <laughs> on that but <clears throat> i think i think that's right i think that's the main reason so if he could have could have been yeah. like i mean i guess this was part of the rapid fire so maybe i i think was this this was asked during the rapid fire section wasn't it no this was just during season four like that's why a no lot of, the the no. answer i mean the answer the oh maybe here we go i don't know i didn't watch the interview mm. that's also because i don't speak french <laughs> We're, We're all on the subtitles for, uh, version, but that's for another time. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that 
<laughs> I mean, is it possible that like Sophie's just misremembering and they didn't find out until late in production and there really was plans for a mythical season five? Maybe I need more evidence. I'm not I'm more like I don't sorry. I don't entirely think I'm doubting that it, there might not have been plans for a season five. They might have known season four was the last one, but it just feels it feels like them knowing season four was the last one happened sometime in the middle of pre-production. It, it happened when they had a lot of it already done. From the start doesn't necessarily mean explicitly like they could have been a week into season four when the news came down hey you're not getting another season guys so that's from the start they would know we don't know <laughs> but i don't want to completely discount sophie saying we've always known as like no that's not correct because there's evidence that this I'm... had to have been a last minute change i'm like there could there's reasons why this might not be indicative of a last minute change I've said I've said my two pieces. Uh... I just have to say that I think Flower is completely wrong. Absolute garbage opinion. I can't believe that. I'm taking. I'm taking it. your turn if you're gonna <laughs> oh. start off that way. He's joking. <laughs> He's joking. He's I, joking. I know. I, I know you're joking. I'm also fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, here's okay. Here's the thing. I do agree with Flower on some points. What's it? One of the things that was actually going to be a point of uh, point for me was that, yeah, changing of the guard is something that happens in studios a lot. And in that, and when that sort of thing happens, yeah, people decide uh, certain projects are just not what they want to do. You know, it's like, yeah, Code Lyoko. I think Flower's onto something that someone just didn't know what to do with this property. Code Lyoko is a weird show, and it's also a very expensive show as well, because it's balancing two different art styles. It's, what's it? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, it's just, it, it already had 40-some episodes, and then it's got, well, another 45 episodes, which I'll be coming back to. But first, I do want to talk about, what's it? I do, to a certain degree, to a certain degree, believe in mythical season five, but not quite in the way that, yeah, no, they had season five completely planned <laughs> out and like right down to every single episode. That um, was it. No, I mean, I'm no, I'm I, with you there, Wazy. <laughs> I think they wanted it, but they weren't going to get it. I, I actually do believe that the mountain replica episodes existed in some form. Hell, they may have even been episodes that we know, but were retooled. Are there any replicas that like run for a really long time? Now that I think about the it, the ice there replica. Are any cool episodes that are like the, I, the ice replica. The ice replica, I think. The ice replica is where we meet the Colossus. It's where the skid gets destroyed. It's where they have to free William. It's yeah they have they go there like multiple times i believe they go there a lot i think it i think the ice replica is the one that probably took over a lot of the plot that might yeah have come out in. maybe but that's hypothetically speaking but i do part i think that the mountain replica is pretty damning evidence another piece of damning evidence as well is what's it yes it could just be concept art that just was not used that is very likely as well i also mentioned it could be the only piece of art for the mountain replica exists there could even be more that we don't know about we don't know that but that's there's more to it as well because dylan mentioned quest for infinity and that in and of itself is another smoking gun because quest for infinity from my understanding was developed alongside season four so they had access to a lot of the things that they were doing and this happens with tv shows a lot where it's like well especially in the 2000s like yeah we're making a video game and the new show is coming the new show or the new season is coming out we need it to be for the show slash season um what's it a very specific example i can mention is uh what's it uh ben 10 ultimate alien had a game that uh came alongside it which is a different point but it's like i know in the developer diaries for that specific game uh cosmic destruction 
that they talked about, yeah, no, they were constantly giving us concept art and like design changes and stuff. And we had to change that over time. So it's like, it's very likely that concepts from season four ended up in quest for infinity that didn't. And it's quest for infinity is interesting because I'd like to view it as like sort of an alternate season four, if that makes sense. But yeah, but that's besides the point too. Um, one, I think one of my main things as well is that what's it, and that isn't really being mentioned. Um, season three and four were ordered together and produced pretty quickly alongside one another. 45 episodes all at once. And it was decided pretty early on that what's it, um, season three would just be 15 episodes. And while while uh, Dylan and Flower were going off, I did go to the wiki to check that and make sure <laughs> that uh, that that was something that. But yeah, no, um, season three and four were ordered together. What I think happened mm-hmm. is that what's it? Season three and four being ordered together made it that they planned season three. They plan they planned and started producing season three. Um, then. Season four went into pre-production, and I think that they had a very clear outline of what season four was going to be. And I think that, what's it, they were hoping for season five, and that Mm. did not happen. And that, what's it, initially, a very early version of Down to Earth that wasn't exactly written or anything, but freeing William and introducing the Colossus was the intended ending of season four, in mm. my opinion. But very early on into that production, they realized, no, you're not getting season five. And they're like, okay. And Sophie has gone on record, yeah. And they're like, okay, so we'll speed run the end of this show. And what's it? I also should note that Sophie has gone on record in interviews talking about what she would have wanted out of season five. Uh, what's mm-hmm. it? Things like she wanted William to be drawn to Xana. Yes, there's a chance that this mm-hmm. stuff could be talking about after the fact. That's very likely as well. But it's just like, I think that season four specifically being planned the way it was, it is very likely. Flower could very well be light, right about that. But I don't know. My thing is, I think three and four were written, were planned to a certain degree together and during three they were hoping for season five while they were doing three and that it just didn't happen so they ended it at four that that's what i believe i think that i i I, that's i think my best interpretation of it too i think i've always i think we've when we've always talked about it wazy there's clear signs they wanted a season five Mm -hmm. yes um Flower is right to a degree that what's it, uh, the change of directors did slightly, did make changes to the, did make changes to the structuring of the show. I believe that it's the wiki, either in an interview or it's the wiki where Sophie uh, talked about how, uh, what's it, yeah, no, um, the, yeah, no, uh, uh, shoot. She had her kid. I cannot and remember. The, yeah, that. Yeah, I cannot the remember the name of the other of the head writer of season four, and I feel bad about that. Um, Cam will put it on screen for me. Um, what? Put what on screen? Don't check it. Uh, <laughs> the head writer of season four. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, right now. Yeah, yeah. Cam. That time step down. Yeah, yeah I got yeah, it. <laughs> but, uh, but what's it? Uh, um, I think that. Th- that a level of change was made from season three to season four because of that change. Uh, and what's it? Flower also mentions in uh, mentions in chat that uh, shoot that uh, mythical season uh, that mountain replica isn't solid proof of mythical season five existing. You're absolutely right about that. What I think happened is that again, um, season four in a conceptual phase had all five sectors as replicas and probably had episodes attributed to them was getting ready to do that and what's it then uh then it was revealed no you're not getting season you're not getting season five i think season five existed as an idea Mm -hmm. like as as an idea as vague points on a board maybe or just 
thoughts in their head, but they were like, yeah, we're going to end season four on freeing William. But then it's like, no, we're ending here. And I think that the mountain replica episodes, I don't think actual mountain replica. I don't think that these are the lost episodes of Leo <laughs> and they're out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't ever buried in a chest. What I think is that what's it? They had an outline of season four and they're like, um, they're like, sorry, you, you, sorry, you're not getting season five. So there were two episodes with the words mountain replica on them. And maybe a uh, character gets into, uh, what's it? Maybe Ulrich gets into wacky shenanigans when, uh, what's it? He and Yumi go on a rock climbing uh, exhibition in the gym. And uh, what's it? This relates to the conflict in the mountain replica. Oh, God. <laughs> they're just like, all right, end the show. Um, so we're <laughs> removing that and whatever the other mountain replica episode is. And we're doing, um, we're doing kill Xana and uh, kill Xana and epilogue. That's that. That's going into the slots and so, like that. I think. Like I don't think that it got to any stage of like reasonable production or scripting or anything. I just think, yeah, there was a thing on. Um, there was a thing on a like uh, outline of an episode list of yeah, mountain replica, and then they just crossed that out <laughs> when it was confirmed. It was not. They were not doing season five. I'm sure there were just. Dis- I'm sure when season five, when it was confirmed that they're not doing season five, that there was a lot of discussion on what to cut and what to change. Mm -hmm. Also, if I remember correctly, Quest for Infinity doesn't end with killing Xana. It's just about freeing William at the end, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Yeah. Quest for Infinity's ending feels much more like a setup to lead into. That's another thing. Because Quest for Infinity is the season four game, and mm-hmm. that hand was developed alongside season four. That's another smoking gun. But yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. There is a little. There is more basis to the idea. But yes. you've also been a lot more fair than the talk of there was a season five. The mystical it exists somewhere. Yeah, no, yeah, those no. people are on this straight guys. copium. They, yeah, this, this, I, I, does I, not exist. <laughs> <laughs> But I, yeah. yeah, those people are in straight copium. It's just, just but, yeah. a straight needle of it injected into their veins. I think I've said everything I want to say. But, yeah, I think because yeah. there was another interview. Uh, it wasn't. This was like a might have been the first one early last year. But I remember Jerome mm-hmm. was saying that uh, when they tried to get broadcast to try to renew i don't know if it was like another attempt yeah. or i don't know if this was after they were told they weren't gonna get it but uh they uh, uh they said they they even they couldn't i don't know what, I, can't, I, mean, I can't remember word for word it's kind of vague for my in my head right now but they uh hold on what uh yeah. hold on okay finish your thought then i'll say something yeah i was just saying like because we know that cartoon network didn't but they also brought up mm-hmm. France 3, and I mentioned this earlier today. And they brought up France 3 also uh, didn't agree with broadca- mm-hmm. you know, uh, broadcasting a season 5. So I don't know mm-hmm. when that took place, if that was bef- after yeah. they were told. And they were I, hoping I that, I don't know. During, it was probably during production of season 3. But mm-hmm. um, what's it? I Cam, you can cut this if you don't want it in the video i understand Mm -hmm. but if you guys actually want a real lost episode of a real lost episode of code lyoko content me and cam like years ago wrote a video (laughs) about quote unquote what season five would have been (laughs) like all like the production and like like we went reloaded yeah that's right yeah about reloaded and stuff like that yeah and so yeah that's that, that's the real lost episode that's the real mythical season five me and cam's video <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is this is it <laughs> yeah this is it that's not, right. that's your mythical season five 
Yeah, go ahead, Drew. <laughs> yeah, I genuinely do not believe that there was no planning for season five. I like. I'm not gonna say that it was out there or that there were scripts finished or that there were recording sessions, but Definitely they. Not. It was. But I'm. I'm a hundred percent convinced there was plans for it, and they just did not get to do them. Yeah. And like, I genuinely think that I don't know if Sophie's like not not remembering correctly, or if she or if she or Jer Jerome or whoever it is are like saying. That, like this and that to like save face or whatever yeah but like i genuinely do not believe her in the sense of like there was n this was how it was always meant to end because of just how like if that was always how it was always meant to end then your writing got l like when the fucking tank <laughs> like like in the last six episodes i understand shit happens in real life but like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna judge something on what it was supposed to be i'm gonna judge on what i was given and what i was given you know, while it was satisfying to, to actually see Xana die, as opposed to what happened in Samurai Jack, where we had to wait like 20 <laughs> fucking years to see a coup bite it, and that sucked too. That's yeah. another debate. Um, <clears throat> but like, you know, getting to see Xana die is fine and all, but like the fact that it was it was so rushed, it seemed like such an ass pull that getting to kill Xana was just like, oh, look at that. I happened to found like the sequencing that sends these little microbots out to kill Xana. <laughs> And it's like, oh, did you? Really? Man, that's really convenient. After getting dogged on for like four seasons that suddenly <laughs> God himself would hand you this magical key to end the entire show. That's he really convenient. I'm not going to watch. But yeah. that's... Yeah. Yeah, Don't I always laugh at that scene. Because that'll be, that'll be the discussion of like how rushed it is is for another time. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what that's why I asked in the beginning what this was about because I didn't want to go off topic. Uh, it's okay. You're, you're there. good, man. No, you're good. Um. Okay. So personally, like, you know, I forgot who it was that said this. Someone here said something along the lines of like, maybe season four was meant to end, not exactly as it did, but in this way to where it answers like it leaves these questions lingering because it promotes discussion, like, ten, twenty years later, and, like. That was. Yeah. And my thoughts on that is, if they did that, like, fuck you if you did that. <laughs> like, I, I, oh. like, like that's like that's my view on that kind of like storyboarding or story writing. Like, if you have these like several thousand different plot threads, like I'm not even talking about like what happened in Chronicles. That's a whole other mess. But I'm talking about just oh, with God. the CIA, just with friends, just with how <laughs> Xana was created, just with the Cold War, just the cartridge. Carthage, all things that were discussed in the show, you're gonna tell me that you had nothing like, like, there, there is no way this was just, we want people to come to the conclusions. Well. This was, because I've seen this bullshit so many times in so many different shows, this was, we're out of ideas, we're gonna let everyone else think of ideas for us, and then the burden is no longer on us. I've seen That's it interesting. thousands of times in different series. We've seen it in Teen Titans, we've seen it in Five Nights at Freddy's, we've seen it <laughs> in like so many goddamn different media. And it's like my biggest absolute peeve for like of writing tropes to do that because it just, it's like you just want an excuse not to think and it makes me mad. <laughs> it makes me so angry. Like, and like I said, you know, and I'm gonna say this for everything that I've said previously, I have no <clears throat> evidence or anything like that that this was the case. But given, like, how, like, you know, we were given a lot of and yet little information from that interview, given that and given how secret things have been up until now, which even then, we still have questions about quite a few things, you know, it leads me to be in the more, like, skeptic and critical side of these, of these things because, like, unless we get actual, like, you know, something written that, like, you know, yes, it was going to go this way, no, there was nothing to be done for season five, I don't believe that. Especially because, like, this this series is so huge, and I am going to include the books this time around. This this series is so huge and so many lingering plot threads. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if both Sophie and Jerome just completely lost track of it at some point, and probably have for the past 20 years. I wouldn't be shocked. I have no proof of this. Like I said, I don't have sources. I'm just saying, like, a lot of signs are pointing to it, and I've seen a lot of series go down this direction before, and it's... A, it's a shame if they are, because that's a loss of massive amounts of potential in storytelling for dramatic for for the dramatics. But that's just that's just me. Sorry, someone I mean else to, wants to. Yeah, I've got Colton. Anything. Colton's been sitting Colton patiently. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, with that, I'm not bouncing. Oh, I, I always you, wait patiently for Kingdom Hearts, for Koei. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do it <laughs> like, just, just in advance, I'm not bouncing because of you. I'm bouncing because I legitimately have to go and meet someone, and I will be back later. Okay. All right. Okay, see you, man. Okay. Uh, you guys went so long. I got brain fog from that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be like part six, seven. Uh, there'll be like six, seven parts of like this interview here. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's how I. That's actually what I've been thinking throughout this t today. <laughs> yeah. But we now know that that's the case. Let's do it. So okay. Woo. They so Sophie. Uh, my, okay, mind you. First of all, this interview is about four hours long. There is probably a hell of a lot of context that we have, you know, don't have pretty much. All we yeah. just have is key yeah. point, and not the whole entire interview for it. So uh, until we get that, do we really know all the facts? No, we don't. That's but, true. We got a lot for yeah, so, so but, far that that we know. Yeah, pretty much. I must say, do another interview this summer or whatever, but that's uh, for later. So they, so they claim season four was always meant to end the way it did. Like, mm -hmm. they found out that, like, okay, we knew early on that it's not going to be renewed. Well, if that's the case, then how come it felt like as if it was rushed? How does that make sense? Matter of fact, yeah. how do you have 30 episodes... The longest out of any other season mm -hmm. in the show, and still have it brushed. Like, did you not plan anything out? Like, what was the deal here? It's just there's just a whole lot of things that don't add up here. Yeah, if I if if I may interrupt, um, right. uh, you, you brought up a good because like, I that's a good point because like you know they all they have all the they you know they have these seasons and everything. Um, it's like the first thing they do is get an outline and um a script a, a script pretty much like a overview of the whole like seasons that they um were approved for so i don't know why like if they were told early on that they weren't getting a season five then why just the like the last four episodes that they you know they they decided to change it up right there and not you know because i feel like they, if that was the case they could probably make it a bit smoother that makes sense um, hold on okay i can i can talk about this a little bit uh i write but i don't like write for uh what's it i i no, obviously yeah. Am, uh, yeah yeah but like what's it i what's it i i i am a writer i do storytelling <laughs> hi everyone um i'm not the only one uh, um, but know. yeah no <laughs> what's it i will say that what's it uh, likely with how far they were along when, granted, I imagine, I'm not saying, no, they found out just before the end that, uh, no. season, season five wasn't happening. No, no, of course not. Um, what's it? Um, but I think that they were likely at a stage where, like, season four had a general overview and outline mm -hmm. and, like, uh, projection and flow that already was, like, on track to just be the way it was so i imagine that they just didn't really have the time to change like, uh, too too much yeah because writing is one of the things writing writing is pretty much the first stage of production yeah like outside of, like actual production so it's <laughs> like like okay okay now you want us to make uh what's it make massive changes to the outline outline um yeah, they don't have time outline of this season of this season we're already started that's that is a tall order i don't know if we can do that you know so yeah. like yeah that's what i'm thinking mm -hmm. happened yeah that's, um, a, that's a good thought season five, real guys but oh <laughs> what's it yeah <laughs> yeah that's what i'm thinking so they did what they could with the time that they had because it's like Deadlines, everything you gotta go. Yeah. You know? So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then at least they were happy with how they were still able to end it. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't perfect, but you know, it, mm -hmm. it 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 wrapped up what they wanted. Yeah, what I was gonna. Uh... What? Uh, Code Lyoko is a perfect show with zero faults. Anyway. <laughs> hey, just because I said that, uh, just because I typed that doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> anyway, yeah. 
Okay, but anyways, um, I do think that maybe it, this was the conclusion that they wanted, uh, and that's fine, dandy. You know, it wasn't perfect, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, but at the very least, we did get an ending uh, to the show, unlike say other shows that uh, don't don't really have any endings to just get canceled. You know, mm -hmm. which uh, again, I don't think Koyoka was canceled. I think that um, they just weren't going to renew it. But uh, we're not mm -hmm. at that topic yet either. So we'll talk about that once we get there. But um, I mean, about about plans for season five, which we might as well talk into that because you know. <clears throat> um, the thing is that we do have evidence that they were planning for like more seasons. You know, there's been interviews that said that, like they probably were going to continue from. I think Sophie even mentioned that they were might have done yep. season five. You know, if they were given yeah. a chance. Yep. Um. <laughs> And so I don't – and so I guess maybe they might have found out, you know, once season four was going to happen is that, yeah, we're not going to renew it and stuff like that. But uh, I don't – I mean I, I, I don't know if there's truth or lies here. I think it's a combination of both, honestly. Like, Possibly. Uh, actually, another thing. I don't think Sophie is uh, lying. Like, I don't think Sophie and Jerome are lying. I just think that... I think they're I not think remembering it quite it. accurately. Yeah, either... Yeah, either yeah, yeah there is a never chance. Yeah, there is or... a chance of that, because this show is old. It's old. Yeah, exactly. We're all I, I'm, by the I'm way. I'm more convinced that early in production might mean, like... Yeah, that the outline was already put together, but, like, a lot yes. of production or pre-production mm -hmm. hadn't been done yet. But it was still at a point where it would have been... Yes. They would have had to rewrite the entire season, and they were not prepared to do that. So they only changed the end. I'm more willing to believe that now. <laughs> I've been convinced. Mm -hmm. I can be wrong. It happens. Do I have any <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I better not, because, like, we got plenty of stuff to go over. <laughs> we're not even... <laughs> we just got started. Um... Anyone else have any last thoughts? Uh, I think I just want to say I when I made my argument, I'm I'm a logical person. I saw the evidence and I was not. I just thought people were jumping to conclusions a little too quickly. But then I realized those conclusions were a lot better than I thought they were. <laughs> they were a little more reasonable. Mm -hmm. And to some extent, you agree that I have a point. Yeah. Yes. Not, like. Again, I all to all theories. Right. Yeah. yeah. Again, them having there. worked, yeah. concretely worked on a season five, is like max copium. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I can agree <laughs> they had plans for season five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what? Sorry, but that also um, it reminds me because I thought of this earlier when Colton was talking. But this is also part of this video that I never got to do. But uh, but the the but this the. Like, they, just to kind of um, tackle on the, like, they have, you know, they've shown signs of wanting to do a season five. Well, in an older interview, um, Jerome and Sophie have, and they were both in this one. It was, like, a written one, I think, or something like that. But uh, they also brought up, like, they want, yeah, they wanted to do stuff with Kolioko and that being, like, a three-movie series of a backstory yeah. of Carthage and stuff. And oh there was rumors God. that that was, well, th right. actually, that was, I think, they mentioned that that was a plan of what they wanted to do after uh when trying to uh continue after it had um ended in season four was. but i don't think that was season five though no I, i'm not Maybe saying it no, i'm just saying like they had ideas for some kind of um continuation just or something after season four um so i just wanted to put that Three. out there that's fair Three. Looking back, I know Cam, Cam the, the the lost episode, the video of what. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, looking back, I'm thinking about it now, and what's it? Three movies is crazy. It is. Three That's order. very crazy. Maybe one. I don't know how long each. Yeah, I don't know how long they were making these because I feel like if they're like 40 minutes each, I mean, it's still. But like yeah. maybe one good movie would would have done the trick for such a you yeah, know idea. I think so but like, as respectfully as possible, who was going to pay for these three <laughs> movies? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like, where were they going to get the money? Like, that's fun, but oh my god. You yeah. Know? I they have, they've had, like, they have dreams and they're like, still if, chasing them. Yeah. If Moon Scoop lends into the show's popularity, like, during, like, yeah. season four's production and we actually got first season five in the movies, yep. it might be more plausible. Yeah. Cole like, Yoga was Bro. stupid popular back stupid in the day. Stupid executives. Yeah. Dinkleberg. <laughs> stupid executives. Dinkleberg. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, I think we still. I think there's that. I think we have a. I think we have a doc or something of of our um, oh, outline of that video somewhere. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I remember working on that. I, I don't know. I think I feel like we probably tackled a good amount on it though already. Yeah, most of it. I, I worked extensively on that. We just like, I don't think we finished it, but like we had a lot written down. Actually, let me see if I can find it. Screw yeah. it. I think that's how we'll end that topic.